16 contestants are back to do it all over again. It's Charlie Niner TDI holding course to Island. Over. We're back. Last season was painfully delicious, and if you missed it, shame on you. But here's a very quick recap. Last season on Total Drama Island, 16 new contestants showed up with the dream of taking home that $1 million prize. Emma and Chase arrived as exes, then made up, then threw up, broke up, and made up again. Z was chill, Axel was tough, Caleb was gorgeous, Scary Girl was scary, and Damien screamed the entire time. Social media motivational influencer are four words that mean nothing, but that's what Julia said she was. Then, when we discovered she was actually a horrible person, Julia really embraced her true self. Wayne and Raj are super tight hockey bros, but Raj had a secret, and while Bowie was the first to learn of it, no one was happier for Raj than Wayne. Action film star Nichelle LaDonna turned out to be less capable and far more fragile than the characters she plays in her movies. Ripper showed everyone his bum on the very first day. Then he used a teammate as a human shield. Then he tied the world record for the longest part. And that's Ripper. Priya, the most prepared player ever, made friends with Millie, who was only here to write a book about how teens today are total failures. MK found out about the book when she hacked the confession cam, but it was Bowie who ended up using the book to destroy their friendship, right before the three of them faced off in the big finale. This allowed Bowie to team up with Priya and take out Millie, leaving them as the last two standing. It was a photo finish as they raced down the hill in their barf-filled balls, but Priya crossed the line first and as the new winner of Total Drama Island, she took home one million dollars. Now we've got another stack of cash to give away, and because people never learn, all 16 contestants are back to do it all over again. Which means this season, I don't even have to pretend to be nice. Obviously, you're wrong. Everyone meet at the bleachers once you've recovered your luggage. Told you they'd all survive. You owe me ten bucks, chef. Uh. <laughs> wow, you're really good at fishing. So, why would I come back after I won last season? Well, my dad insisted I put the cash away until I'm 40. So it was either come back here or keep working my new summer job. I'd rather be dropped from a helicopter than work at the weenie wagon. Emma! Hey, Emma! Nope! Wait, I was just wondering... No, Chase! But we... No! 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 Oh, okay, we'll talk later. Chicks, am I right? You're never right. Things were great with me and Emma at the end of last season. Then she watched episode 10 and saw I actually bailed on that challenge for pizza and not love or uh, whatever. I wonder if I should have just told her the truth. Nah. Oh, hi! It's so good to see you! And she's gone. No point making friends with Nichelle. She'll probably be the first one voted off. Hey, guys! Isn't it nice that no one was eaten by a shark or landed on a rock? That would not have brought me any joy! Oh, yeah. That would have been bad. Who is that? I don't know. A lot of people say I was eliminated last season for being too scary. My mom, people on the message boards, the dog next door. So this season, I'm going to be normal. So, are you ready? I'm so ready. Yeah, you are! Woo! 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 When we found out we'd be back for another season, Priya really wanted me at my best. So she made me a TDI training guide. I never 
never even opened it! Apparently being friendly betters your chance of winning. So this season, I'm gonna make a real effort to be nicer. Hey Axel, how you been? Ah! I'm a work in progress. Hey everyone, look! It's me and Raj from last season, and Bowie too! Is it me or am I getting Sting Eye from like, everybody? You knew people would be mad at you. We game planned this. Come on, just get it over with. Ahem. Last season, I made some tactical maneuvers with Millie's notebook that some may feel were... Sneaky, underhanded, evil. Questionable, but that's the game. So, if you think about it, I actually taught you all how to be better players. You're welcome. Was that an apology? You were right. I feel much better. Campers! It is so nice to have you back. Blah, blah, blah. Just tell us what the teams are already. Actually, we can't. Because this season, the teams will be picked by two of you. Last season, I was the first kicked off. So this season, it's extra important that I get in with a good team off the bat. Chris, studies show that picking teams creates a hierarchy and can cause emotional trauma for kids. Which is exactly why I'm doing it. Man, I miss this place. There will be no carryover from last season. It's a clean slate. Phew! Being defending champ could have put a huge target on my back. But now, I can keep a low profile. Picking first will be our victor, conqueror of losers, and brand new millionaire, Priya! Champion! 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 So much for the low profile. And picking the other team will be last season's runner-up, Bowie. Boo! You stink! Okay, Priya, the pressure's on. Millie. Woo! Millie? Millie? Look at me! Most people would have picked a strong player, but whatever. Bowie, you're up. Take your time. Raj. Boom! Knew it! Woo! Ugh. Now I'm getting mad! Ugh, two sentimental picks. So many feels. Gross. Next! You remember the chapter I wrote on Alliance Building, so you obviously know who we should pick next. Yeah! I sure do. Uh, we're gonna pick... Emma! Emma! <laughs> we said it together! <laughs> yes! Okay, now we're talking! Next! Okay, time to get strategic. Weigh every option. Find the perfect balance of brains. Brawn. Cunning. Pick white! <sighs> Wayne. Whoa, yeah! I was worried there for a sec we were gonna be on different teams. Me too. Wayne and I are great together, but apart. It'd be like a bike with only one wheel. <laughs> one wheel? What would you even call that? A one-sickle? So what are we thinking? I looked Caleb up online, he bent his 350 pounds, got an early acceptance to MIT, and volunteered at a kitten orphanage. Yes, we should pick someone hot, strong, Emotionally mature! Sorry, kids. Looks like I'm... We picked Caleb! Yes! I'm happy I got picked. But fifth? That's not good. I know this pick could blow up in my face, but it also might just win me a million bucks. Julia. <gasps> <gasps> Gotta give Bowie credit. I'm a smart pick. I mean, sure, I'll eventually double-cross him and make him ugly cry on TV, but until then, I'll bring my A-game. Yes! Okay, serious question. Am I invisible? Chase weak. Axel! Worst pick yet. Oh! Oops, sorry. Totally saw you there. MK. Thanks. I like your moves. I like your style. I trust you'll find some sneaky way to help us this season. That's kind of my jam. And I hope you have a plan in case Bowie only picked you so that he and the hockey bros could make you first voted off the island. <gasps> I hadn't even considered that. Then I guess I'm helping already. This could be the start of a beautiful alliance. Priya, let's go. We'll take Z. Sweet. Take me for what? Want to see something cool? Civil Suit Soda are paying me to be an influencer. It's not a million bucks, but it's better than a fistful of bananas, which happens to be just one of their delicious flavors. Ah, wow, that's gross. I mean, Great! Okay, bottom of the barrel time. Bowie, you're up. Guess I'll take the new girl. There are no new contestants. That's Scary Girl. 
really. You won't regret this. Too late. <laughs> Priya, you get second last pick. Please don't make me the last pick, please! I'll go with the person who didn't use me as a human shield. Nichelle! Yes! Fart nuggets! After I humiliated myself on the obstacle course last season, Hollywood canceled me! But instead of wallowing, I spent the past few months training with the world's top parkour, kung fu, and gymnastics experts. This season, I'm playing lights out! And just like that, the teams are set! Priya, the players you picked will be called Team Ratface. Ratface? <laughs> Bowie, the players you picked will be called Team Skunk Butt. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Drop off your gear, then we'll have our first challenge and see who's going home tonight. Last season, I was booted off first, so this time, I'm making an alliance early with the girl who won it all. I got you, champ. Save your strength for the challenge. We appreciate it. <laughs> now, Priya, can we go over some of your training guide highlights? Just to refresh my memory. <laughs> okay, this'll take some work. Welcome to the first challenge of the season, Grandma's Footsteps. Helping us with this challenge is a very special guest. Chef's Grandma, Granny Hatchet. Hello, children. Aww. So sweet. Rules! This is my grandma's lawn, and she does not like kids walking on her lawn. When her back is turned, you can race for the finish line. And when she's watching, you better stand still. Or else. Or else what? Raptors? Rabbit tapeworms? Tell us already! Damien! Whoa! It's day one! Relax! If Granny Hatchet sees you moving, she'll throw these paint balloons at you. If you're hit, you're out. <sighs> no way can she throw hard enough to hit us. Man, there's something familiar about that old lady. First camper to cross the finish line wins immunity for their team. Losing team reports to the marshmallow ceremony and votes one of their teammates off the island. Game starts in two minutes. Okay, team, we can win this with basic TDI strategy. Now, when Grand's watching, stop in a position you can hold. No balancing on one leg. Millie, you good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just getting psyched up. Oh, why didn't I just train like I said I would? Now, Everybody, listen up. Strategy time. We all need to get Strategy? our- Strategy? Dude, you run and you stop. It's not rocket surgery. Right, but we need to- On your mark. Oh. Get set. Come on, Millie. Let's get it. Let's get it. Go. Little chin music there, folks. Did we win? Two from Team Ratface are out. Boom! You two just got axed. Axed? That's Axe Hatchet, the greatest pitcher in the history of the Women's Baseball League. Oh, did we forget to mention that? Nice arm, Grandma. <laughs> and I do seem to remember asking for red paint in this challenge. Ooh, and it looks like that'll be an error charge to Sally. You're fired, so please turn in your uniform at the production trailer. So there's an extra intern uniform kicking around? Interesting. No, oh, come on, Soda. Be cool, man. Campers are looking a little nervous. Why am I doing all this running when I can hitch a ride all the way to the finish line? I don't like people following me. I'm not following you. We're running to the same place. Time out! 
Wow, Granny's got her good stuff today, and we're down to 12. I'm going for it. Huh, right. Wait, you're not serious. No, Chase, don't. <gasps> I don't believe it. I think he actually might. No. Did not see that coming. Granny's tricky curveball gets another one out. Whoa! That was close. You're fine. Just try not to move. Oh, tough break for Damien. But then, murder hornets are a cherished part of this great game. On a dime, bro. Start and stop to get to the top. Can she see us? Go! Go, go, go! <laughs> yup, she saw us! Again, again! And it's a grand slam! Well, I think I know what'll be leading the highlight reels tonight. Gotcha. You mean got us? And Grant turns yet another double play. We're down to four. Who's gonna get to the finish line first? Sorry, Julia. Back to the next stoppage. I'm gonna win this thing. Yes, Emma, you got this. You're gonna win it for us. Woo! Yay, Emma! Keep the pedal down. <laughs> Bowie might have only drafted me because he has the numbers to send me home early. I need to show my team I'm worth keeping. She's an animal! Bowie is the last one on the skunk butts while Michelle is the last one on the rat faces. This in the bag. Bowie versus a pretend action star? Champion! <laughs> <laughs> Team Red Face wins! We're number one! We're number one! We're number one! How did she do that? I think all my training has worked. Wow! After a shocking finish, Team Ratface has won immunity. So Team Skunkbutt, I'll see you tonight at the marshmallow ceremony. One of you is going home. Okay, it's finally time for my favorite part of every episode. Crushing somebody's dreams. Chase! He started with me because some of you did even worse stuff. You thought you could beat my grandma's arm, but maybe you just got yourself voted off. <clears throat> Bowie. I know. I'm saying it anyway. Julia set you up for the win, and you blew it. Just right. I was excellent. This elimination's gonna be tricky. Yeah, bro. Can't vote for Julia. She totally sacrificed herself to give us a shot at the cup. Can't vote Bowie off. And it's not like Chase was bad. He nearly went end to end. Yep, this is gonna be a hard one. And finally, Scary Girl. No. No? Look, I know last season some of you found me a little scary. 100%. Terrifying. Total freak show. But I worked hard to become the normal girl you see here today. It wasn't easy. I had to read normal books and watch normal movies. I even studied all of you to see how normal kids act. Sometimes through your windows, but mostly from your closets while you slept at night. And why would you vote me off for that? I think we made a decision. Get a marshmallow, you're safe. No marshmallow means you've been voted off and will immediately head to the dock of shame and be taken off the island by the drone of despair. Julia, MK, Raj, Wayne, Ripper, Chase. Just one marshmallow remains. It goes to... I'm 
sorry. You've been eliminated. Follow me, please. This is what you get for trying to conform with societal norms carried into the sky by a drone. I didn't even try to hurt anyone on my team this time. I taught myself how to smile 40% less creepily. Oh, this isn't the last of Scary Girl. I'm going to make them should always check your closets before going to sleep, kids. Join us next time for more fun and safety tips right here on Total Drama! <laughs>